Hello, uh, a couple of people have been asking me about minute of angle and how it works when you're dialing in your scope at different ranges to shoot at targets. So I'm trying to do my best to explain that to a couple of people. Everybody, a lot of people are familiar with scopes that are a quarter minute of angle or an eighth inch minute of angle. And basically is what that means is for every click on your scope it equals a quarter or eight minute of angle. Now, for we're going to use a quarter minute as our base mark because that's probably the most average scope is a quarter minute of angle. So that means for every four clicks you get one full minute. Now one, one full minute at 100 yards equals 1.047 inches. Now for all intents and purposes we're gonna call it one inch. And that's how most people refer to it as. It's just one inch at a hundred yards. Now every scope, I'm gonna do my best to draw you a little, I'm not an artist by any means but you'll get the the gist of it. Let's say this is your scope body and that's your elevation turret. You have a little zero there where you're zero and you got a couple lines and then a one and, and so on. It'll go all the way around and probably you'll end up at nine or fourteen or whatever it is before you get back to zero. Each of those represent a minute of angle and calculate into bullet drop. So I've, uh, for an example, when I shoot a target at 600 yards I use nine minutes of drop. So when I take nine minutes, I'm not going to say, well, nine minutes equals one inch because we're not at 100 yards, we're at 600 yards. Well, it doesn't equal an inch anymore. It equals six inches at 600 yards. So let's see here. That equals 54 inches a drop. Now, as how this works is, uh, I'm going to draw you a little table here. One minute of angle times range in yards. And this works if it's two minute of angle, three minutes of angle, three minute of angle, etc. So one minute at 900 yards equals nine inches. Two minutes at 900 yards equals 18 inches. And this keeps going on. Three minute of angle at 900 yards equals 27 inches. And this goes on and on and on. It's all the way across the board. It does not change. This is always will stay the same no matter what. And it, uh, you know, if you wanted to get absolutely precise and go 1.0 or seven, you can. But all we're talking about, it'll just give you a rough idea what your bullet drop is. But you know what? It really doesn't make a bit of difference if you know how many inches your bullet drop is. As long as you know when you dial to nine minutes, you hit what you're aiming at every time. And, uh, you know, I think I'd, I'd hope, hope I did the best I could to explain this to you. It's kind of confusing sometimes. But uh, if you have any questions, just email me, uh, Sean at Long Range Shooter, S E A N. Um, I'm just trying to get a rough idea so you guys can get an idea of it because I know it's kind of confusing and there's no real, there's a couple good spots online that will give you some good literature on how it works, but I just wanted to kind of give you a, an idea so you guys, uh, for a lot, when you guys don't know what minute of angle is and you got the scope with all these lines and numbers on it and it's, you know, it's like kind of like trying to explain a, to a blind person what blue looks like, but, uh, with this information, it should make it a lot easier and help you be able to figure out uh, how to use your scope. Have a good day.